God's name, are you not resting, lad? I'm carving these for my daughters, Lord. For when we return home. <laughs> Shouldn't you instead be carving arrow shafts for what is to come? Just to be safe. I'd rather have this to remember you by, Lord. Should you fall in battle? <laughs> fall in battle? I think not. <laughs> Upon my word, I shall be the first to charge the Fort Doan and earn my glory. And the first to get yourself into trouble, or so I was led to believe. <laughs> was it not Theoderic who plucked you out of trouble a couple of times already? Like that time in the Black Forest when you were way head over your head. There are risks when one is charging forth on horseback while all men cower behind shields. Besides, some of us have only their deeds to their name and little else. Fair enough. I will not question your courage, my boy. You've proven yourself a hundred times over. And it has been an honor to be defended by your shield wall, my lord. You and Theoderic are paragons that any knight should be looking up to. If it is me you are trying to impress, you better start a duel. Because all this talking and inane courtesy bore me to death. You are worse than women folk. <laughs> <laughs> if the excitement of the coming battle is not enough for you, lass, you could go ahead and strike at the enemy now. You're a prodigy when it comes to ambushes, are you not? Sneaky and deadly and all that. Shut it, old fool, or I'll teach you never to question a lady's... Lord Theoderic, it is time, friends. Gather your men. We charge the walls at dawn. 